Hello everyone, welcome back to Working with Ken. So basically in today's video, I'm going to be capturing Handshake and uh, uh, I will show you how to capture it and we are going to save it in a file so we can uh, do further uh, cracking or attacks with, with it. So basically I made it but uh, somehow YouTube banned it. I don't know uh, but uh, it said that it doesn't follow community guidelines. Maybe it's because I showed John the Ripper and how to crack passwords or stuff like that. So uh, in this video we're going to be looking at only how to capture Handshake using Air Gidon and save it in a file. So basically this is the part of Kali uh, Linux tutorials. So basically, uh, let's just dive in. I'm going to be using Air Gidon. You can use any tool you want. Uh, there are a lot of tools available like Airmon, uh, Dump or Airmon, NG or stuff like that. So all you have to do is open up a terminal. If you want to follow me, uh, then just control and uh, the Okay. And then we are going to be in going into root and clear the screen. Let's type Air Gidon, my favorite script, and uh, there we go, this spooky alien ship. Now, uh, I, I know that uh, some of you were watching Evil Twin Attack and didn't know that how I captured the handshake file because that was supposed to be the sequel of this, uh, uh, of the video that was banned from the YouTube. Uh, but uh, there is no prequel now, but I'm making the prequel. So it's like the Star Wars where sequels come first and then prequel. So uh let's hit enter now i have the adapter which support monitor mode i have tp link 722 nv1 so i'm going to be pressing three and it's wlan one and first of all i'm going to be putting it in monitor mode so by pressing two i will put this in monitor mode uh so as you can see my wi-fi didn't disappear because i have two adapters now and uh, there we go so now uh, we are going to be going into handshake menu or pm kid menu so here we have two options uh, either we want to uh, capture the handshake or capture the pm kid pm kid is something else that we'll learn in the future but for now we are going to be capturing handshake uh, now what is handshake you might ask basically so first of all before we go any further i want to tell you what is handshake you can skip that part if you already know what is handshake so basically a handshake is something that router authorized a router can authorize that you are a device that uh, is basically authorized person or something like that basically it's a proof that you are an authorized device with the right password and uh, you want to communicate with the router so basically this is what handshake file does it contains the password which is pre-shared key or psk and it uh, um, and it communicates with the router that i i have the psk every time you send a packet so basically every time you connect to it every time uh, every time you reconnect is it sends the handshake and uh, um, the device give proof that uh, the device is authorized uh, authorized person not an unauthorized person or someone trying to get into network with wrong password so basically this is what the handshake is and we're going to be saving it in a file now I'm going to be scanning it okay we have two SSIDs available okay uh, one is Sol Eater 56 other is Sol Eater 57 which are my target I'm going to be kind of pressing control plus six and where our target our main target is sol eater 56 because it has the most clients okay uh first of all what we want to do i i love doing the g auth airplay attack uh again this is my network only okay i'm uh, testing it i'm showing it to you how you can do that please don't uh, do it to anyone without their permission otherwise you will be charged so basically uh, now what we're going to do uh, i'm going to be pressing 2 d auth airplay attack let's make it 20 and uh, okay let's hear it and uh, it's sending g auth packets um, maybe my de my device keeps connecting and disconnecting so when it uh, when it will connect again and uh, it will so we will have the pre-shared key uh, sorry, not the pre-shared key, but the handshake file. Okay, we got the handshake file. As you can see, uh, even my laptop got disconnected. So uh, we can save it. Let's save it uh, in slash home slash Ken Cipher or we I have a better option. 
let's save it in slash root okay wait 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 what oh yeah yeah we need to specify the file handshake dot handshake okay and there we go we easily captured the handshake file now uh, you can do whatever you want to do with it you can either uh, use it to uh, use it in cracking techniques like john the ripper hashcat you can do that or uh, you can just use it in evil twin attack or you can use it in other kinds of attack but now you have the complete handshake file and uh, be sure to keep in mind that uh, if you're uh, like pen testing uh, someone's wi-fi make sure that you have the latest uh, handshake file like uh, for i mean two or three days i think i mean most companies just change their password uh, like months after months no some of them don't even change after the year so basically make sure you have the latest handshake file and uh, the device that are being connected are the ones that um, daily connects to that wi-fi so basically those devices uh, uh, like daily connects to wi-fi so they must know the uh, perfect or latest password so when uh, so when you basically uh, get the handshake from those devices it will be really helpful to you and that handshake will be the latest so uh, this is all for today and uh, um, by the way i'm launching course on wi-fi pen testing on udemy so if you want to study that uh, it's being submitted for review and i hope to hear from udemy soon so the course original price will be uh, 19 dollars but uh, for first 500 users the course price will be one dollar so you can purchase that for one dollar and uh, it's really interesting course um, i i I think I did a good job on it uh, I like to think so because I really put my efforts into it so and that course will include offensive and defensive both parts like uh, how you can pen test a Wi-Fi in offensive way then how you can defend against those attack what security mechanisms you can apply so this uh, that is the basically work I've done so I hope you will enjoy the course I will notify once uh, it will be launched it will be publicly available so uh, this is all for today and see you guys in the next like in the next video uh, i like to say lecture because i keep recording on udemy okay see you guys in the next lecture